Thank you for enjoying your sweetest moments with me merging timelines. Today I'm doing a very general reading for June for my air signs. I read for sun and moon placements. If you have a sun or moon within an air sign, such as Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, these messages are to offer you some sort of truth and clarity. Thank you as always for allowing me to be a divine channel. <laughs> Thank you for your divine messages, as these messages will come from your soul and not anything outside, as you train yourself to listen more and more and more into how you feel versus what you see to validate where you should be. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Flying out the deck, I'm just going to show you a couple messages couple messages. This is talking about a message of passion that you have received, will receive from someone who rejected you. Damn. On the up and up. Somebody witnessing the come up is somebody witnessing the come up. It's about damn time, isn't it, Air Signs? It's about damn time. Aries, I mean Aries. Why did I say Aries? Are some of y'all dealing with some Aries? So I've got my air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You know, I just got done doing the other signs readings. Up, oh, somebody's stuck in a cycle here. Um, I got finished reading the other signs and I was like, air, water, fire, earth, air, water, fire, earth, air, water. And I'm like, what sign did I not do? <laughs> Duh, you guys, my air signs, my sisters and brothers of these unseen, unheard, unknown places. Especially if you're double air, like if you have a sun and moon in air just like I do. Oh yeah, we are so out there to people. So out there. And with that being said, I take that light change as like the right bit of confirmation. I love it. I'm going to actually honor it. <laughs> Are you going to honor yours too? Are you going to honor that you stand out? Hey, show them how to move in a room full of vultures. I told my sister that earlier that last week, I believe. Show them how to move in a room full of vultures. Because people think that you got to tell people what and how and where. But my sister and dad said it the best. The biggest revenge is when you just don't have nothing to say to that person anymore. Like, they just spew in all the words. All the words that can run out both ends at the same damn time. And you're just sitting there like... I'm not even going to say, are you done? Because you don't even care if they're done. Like... Isn't it relevant? No, it's not irrelevant. It just didn't even come up on your radar, air sign. That's where you're like, I don't mean to be rude or disrespectful, but this just isn't what I'm expecting. Like, I don't even need this from you. Three, three, three. Damn, y'all waiting on a reconciliation. I just got so hyped. So hyped off of that. Sweet. A little bit of life. It gave me is like, damn, throw it back one time, two times. Okay, so here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm going to draw your attention to my board for those of you who like to see my cards. I didn't do it for the last two signs, but for y'all, I'll do it though. I'm <laughs> just kidding. For y'all, let's see what we have. Because my son is in the shower, dudes. I'm going to have to go real, real quick because he's making ruckus in there right now. So in the past, you were stuck in some good childhood memories, like, oh, remember the days. I remember the days, Mel. I remember the days. And then so in remembering those days, I feel like you're stuck on the feeling of it. It's like, don't get lost in the sauce. You know what I mean? Don't just think about what it feels like. Remember, remember. Why do I think of that like, um, like Lion King? Um, what, when does he say that when he says, um, remember me or something like that? So even when someone's long gone, and I mean this, even when someone dies, guys, love goes way beyond the physical. 
Oh my gosh. And as I'm talking about love, shut, shut up. I can't. I can't. Spirit's on point today, damn it. So as I'm talking about that, remember, love goes beyond the physical. You don't have to be in the physical area of this person to know you feel this way about them. Feel this way. You feel this way where you have these childhood memories like, oh, those were the days when love was innocent and love was pure and it was just child free, carefree. We knew nothing, Mel. We knew no sense of pain. Let's see what your advice card is. Stuck down memory lane. Nothing to get out this memory lane card with y'all because we living in the here and that. Okay. But I jog there sometimes to myself, so no judgment. Two cards came out, so I'm going to honor the two cards that flew out. In order to get this union, you have to, tr to prove yourself financially abundant individually. Damn it. The person you're dealing with want to see the coin. Want to see the coins, my air signs. Sorry, these, these cards are a little bit harder for me to shuffle. Um, as I've used them more, they're, they're just not. Mm. Let me not talk about the mate because I love these cards very much, but it's still, it's just not, you know, not doing the bridge. So either way, I love the pictures, so I will continue to use the deck. <clears throat> I'm just going to cut this one. Yes, son, I'm coming. Let me go see what he wants, okay? And I'll be right back. So I gave him some bubbles to play with and he's out. So as I refill these bubbles, again, that was way too much soap. I get carried away with the soap, guys, like it's a, like free. Okay, thank you for being so patient while I was so unprofessional. Life, guys, will show you how every bit of unprofessionalism is just damn near impossible. Unless you're at work, you know? Then you can wear any type of persona you want. All right, so um, we're talking about your advice being, I mean, your advice your environment seeing you stuck in the memories of the good times. Like maybe you're sitting around a lot of people and you tend to just say, you know what? I'm not saying anything, but I'm saying that this was a good time of my life. This was a good place of my life. You know, like how we like to sit around and be like, damn, remember those times when such and such and such and such I see that you're doing a lot of this and people can witness you doing a lot of it. Maybe they're like, damn, that, that um, Aquarius Libra Gemini is just stuck up in their head. They, they're living in the past. Like, damn, I like that time too, bro, but we're not there no more. We're here and now. <laughs> I don't blame you guys. I get, I get stuck up in my thoughts like nobody's business. So I'm going to cut this deck for you. Air signs, sun, and moon placements. Let's go ahead and dive deeper in this timeline and see what it is that spirit really wants you to gather from this message, from spending your time on this channel with me. Thank you, by the way. All right, so I've got two more cards to get, two more cards to get, two more. So your future and your advice, and then we're going to talk about it. Each one of these have been done a different way. I am the most inconsistent person you'll probably ever meet, but this I'm extremely passionate about. So 
You can trust my intentions if it feels right. What's the song? What's damn? I just thought about something else. It was another um, Claire audience message I got. Only if it feels right. Something like that. Damn, forgot that song. All right, so show me my air signs future and advice card, please. Show me my air signs future uh, and advice cards. That's too many. I'm going to throw these back in and ask that we get some more. Just two of them if we can. Just one future, one advice card. 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 One future, one advice. So I'm going to cut the deck so I can get your overall energy and then draw the two off the top. Or not. Spirit says, or not. We're going to go with plan A. Don't be switching up because you're impatient. All right. Trust the reading. If you do, guys. <laughs> You'll know if it's yours if the message from the beginning to the end is yours, okay? So I see that you're stuck on these good times with the fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sag. It doesn't have to be this sign. It does say, however, that this person is very confident or you saw them as a very confident person in your past. Like this person, no one can tell them about themselves. They know who they are. So if you are an air sign female, you're looking or you're, you're thinking of a person like this that you can recall. Um, if you are the male sign watching, then this is you. This is how people think of you when they think of you in, from your childhood. They're like, damn, that that Air Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, male, man, he was the shit. Like, he thought he was the shit, you know? And so the Wheel of Fortune is saying that there is some sort of transformation within, right? This is talking about within yourself, within your feelings. So there's a feeling that you're holding on into, you're holding on to, that is resisting, that is not allowing you to evolve within, right? It's not allowing you to reach union between physical and spiritual because you still have something to let go of that you hold on to, right? And this this little bit of every bit of like U-turn that you feel like you've been taking over and over again, like get to this side, U-turn, get to that side, U-turn. I'm going back and forth, Mel. Where's the way out? Um, this back and forth is to only allow you to clear, climb this stairwell, right? When, when there's no left and there's no right, there's up, right? And there's down too, but who's looking down there? We're already down, right? We're looking up. So <clears throat> you do have the seven of cups <clears throat> as your present energy, and it clarifies itself with you missing an opportunity to ground something in the physical world. Now, I don't feel like if you're the female watching that this is exactly your fault that you're missing the opportunity. I feel like more so as you find yourself drawn to this energy of some sort of bold person in your past, you are being drawn or you're being asked to dib and dab in certain festivities. Like I think one of my other signs I read for, I think it was my fire signs that I read, hey, don't just put all your cups in one basket or your eggs in one basket. These seven baskets here and all of these different cups don't have anything so, 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 ooh, they actually do, right? These do have good stuff in them. This one has a mask. This one has a long-haired woman. This one has a snake. There's a crown. There's a diamond. There's a flower. There's a dragon. So some, like half of these options are, you know, hey, I wouldn't mind having them. So I feel like you're to entertain other options, whether this is in physical relationships or business partnerships. You're trying to enjoy, you're trying to find what that water element feels like again, right? Through your experiences. And so... The Two of Pentacles is saying that you're going to be juggling two options in order to get to some sort of union. You're, you're juggling two physical options to get to a union. You have two, two 
choices. And both choices to you seem like, hmm, I wouldn't quite be upset with either one of those choices at this point, Mel. They both seem pretty even to me. And so that's what's holding up a union. That is why you're, you're only focusing on the outside than the inside because you see two options. And when someone sees two, they're like, okay, why? Well, I mean, I, I guess I'm doing pretty well, right? Two is better than one. So um, there's that message there for you. But <clears throat> your advice is to force yourself into some sort of isolation. During COVID season, it's a very good time frame for you to pull back and stop spending so much time listening to others and listen to yourself. Don't allow people to feel like you can get trapped in a very dark place and never get out. That's not true. You're, you will have all the same people that you talk to on a daily basis after you come out of a sort of, iso, uh, a sort of isolation, solitude point. This is just for you to sit here and align yourself to who and what you feel is divinely yours, right? Who and what, and the only way you can determine this is once you've experienced yourself financially, physically alone. And it doesn't really mean you have to be like in the tangible alone. You just have to be independently feeling, thinking, moving, grounding. You have to be able to make these decisions independently to therefore be fully accountable of the things that you align yourself to, okay? So with that being said, my last, last, last thing that I want to do for my air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, sun and moon that have taken the time out of their day to watch my channel. I appreciate you so much more, so much more than you will ever know. Let's see what your spirit animal is for the month of June. What is your spiritual animal for the month of June? Spirit message. Sun, I'm coming. Wait one second. I'm going to pull your message in one second. He wants more bubbles. So my air signs, I do appreciate you because I've gotten up now twice in this video. It's very unprofessional. Some part of it really irks the living daylights out of me, but I'm getting used to things not being or needing to be a certain way. You know, they don't have to be. You're the trend. Can't even say that. The tarantula. Tarantula. There you go. Booyah. Um, let's see what this is about. And all of my signs, all of my signs, just so you know, their spirit messages have all come out in the reverse. All right, so... This spiritual animal comes through and it encourages you to use your intuition and sensitivity to elevate your life and serve your true purpose. It often appears when you are going through a tough time. The tarantula symbolism reminds you to nourish your own body, mind, and spirit. <clears throat> I think that we talked about that, right? We talked about you being forced in isolation so that you could get to the nine of pentacles, to the lovers. You, this is your advice. This is what spirit wants for you. But they're trying to say, hey, 
Think independently. Take care of your mind, body, and soul independently, and there you can be the light for others, okay? So for those of you who this message was for, um, I'm glad that you have allowed yourself to receive it. Um, thank you for viewing my channel. I hope that you continue to grow with me. And take care. Have a great night. Bye.